Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is 8 o'clock on Sunday morning, November the 6th, 2022. This is being recorded on the previous evening, Saturday afternoon, and you should be well rested today. You got an extra hour of sleep last night, presumably, unless you uh, played another hour of Uno or Skipbo or something like that. I don't know. Hey, we're in Second Chronicles chapter 27 this morning. Going to make short work of it. Only nine verses here, but I got good news for you. As we've been examining these kings of Judah, we see that almost every one of them, they start out pretty well, and then something happens at the end and they go bad. Uh, sometimes it's because the leader that God's given them, they have that person die or, or leave their influence in the life and then they go off on their own. Sometimes it's just pride that wells up. Sometimes they see their accomplishments and they don't think they need the Lord anymore. But there's a variety of reasons, but it almost happens that way every time. They start out okay, and then by the time they get to the end, it's no good. The good news is Jotham, the son of Uzziah, God says nothing negative about Jotham whatsoever. Uh, so let's pray and see what he did right. Father, we ask your help and blessing in our reading and study. You know this man. You know Jotham. You know the king. You know what he was like. You know what he did. And you didn't tell us anything negative about him. Help us to understand today uh, how we can have the same testimony. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. All right, Jotham, Second Chronicles chapter 27. Jotham was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, so not a terribly long reign. His father reigned 52 years, starting at 16 years of age. Jotham starting at 25 and only reigns 16 years. His mother's name also was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Uzziah did. Howbeit, he entered not into the temple of the Lord, and the people did yet corruptly. Now I know you say, I thought you said God didn't say anything negative about him. That's not necessarily negative. Uh, he just did not uh, himself approach the temple and have an active part in it. And so the people that were there, they are the ones who did corruptly. I guess you could say, yeah, I'm being pinned down here, I feel like. You could say maybe he neglected to oversee this as well as he could have. But we're still not told that he did anything directly wrong, okay? Uh, so the people do corruptly. Usually, it's the king who does corruptly. So if anything, maybe he didn't do his job as well as he could have. But look what he did do. Verse number three, he built the high gate of the house of the Lord. And on the wall of Ophel, he built much. Moreover, he built cities in the mountains of Judah and in the forests. He built castles and towers. He fought also with the king of the Ammonites and prevailed against them. And the children of Ammon gave him the same year an hundred talents of silver and ten thousand measures of wheat and ten thousand of barley. So much did the children of Ammon pay unto him, both the second year and the third. So Jotham became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. He didn't become mighty through his own arm, in his own mind, through his own eyes, but through the ways of the Lord. Then that's it. Verse 7, Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and his, all his wars and his ways, lo, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. He was five and twenty years old when he began to reign and reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And Jotham slept with his fathers and they buried him in the city of David. And Ahaz his son reigned in his stead. Told you it was short and sweet. Not a whole lot there. Uh, but there were, tw there were twice here. We were told of him. Uh, he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, and he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. We're told that at the beginning. We're told that at the end. The other guys, we sometimes hear that at the beginning, and we don't see it at the end. So that's wonderful news for us. We can do those same two things. We can prepare our ways before the Lord, and we can do that which was which is right in the sight of the Lord. We just need to stay faithful to God. That's what it's about. Uh, walk with God every single day. 
stay in your Bible, have a life of prayer, and let God work through your life and keep you straight, and you should do all right. Simple, five minutes, nine verses, not a lot there, but praise God for King Jotham. huh? Uh, usually, when there's a lot there, it's because these guys are making mistakes and we have to hear about it. So, no news sometimes is good news. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Lord's Day. As always, please like, love, and share the post. Let people know that we're out here, and we'll see you tomorrow morning live again. God bless you. Have a wonderful Lord's Day.